So hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be what I'm putting in my kids' stockings this Christmas. So before uh, we start this video, a bit of housekeeping. Got to do a bit of housekeeping. First thing, um, I always tick the no this isn't made for kids box on every upload I do. Um, I'll always, always provide warnings for you if I'm going to mention stuff like this, but please, please don't watch this in a shot of children. Um, because, you know, we want to keep the magic alive for as long as possible and I really do my best to help with that but also this isn't a channel for kids, uh, just putting that out there. Second thing, this video is purely meant to be helpful. I've done it every year for a while now and I feel comfortable sharing these ideas because I personally find the stocking to be the funnest part of um, shopping for my kids because I find it magical. I like the idea that when they've like you know, when they still believe that they think that Father Christmas has picked out these things for them and he knows them really well. And I also like to be, um, you know, creative with my ideas as well. Um, so please, only watch this if you think that this is going to be useful for you or you're going to enjoy the video if it's going to make you feel negative for whatever reason this is your responsibility to click away now equally don't want to hear any nastiness in the comments towards others and how they like to do things including myself because um our christmas is our christmas your christmas is your christmas and this is um just meant to be useful and you know, bit of fun, it's Christmas. So, I have three children, if you need to my channel, um, I have a 12 year old who doesn't believe, I have an eight year old who does believe, and I have a six year old who does believe. By all accounts, I think the last two do believe, from what I can tell. But uh, Daisy's in year four now and she's creeping closer and closer to that age where they do tend to bring it up and question it. Um, and I'm just trying to keep the magic alive for as long as possible. So my kids think these are from Father Christmas. Father Christmas does the stockings and gets them one present. We get the rest, family get the rest. Because um, I want some credit too. <laughs> my family deserves some credit. And I just find that to be a fairer playing field um, when children talk amongst their peers about what Father Christmas Christmas got them for Christmas because um you know if our household he got them everything and then they talked to a child where they only had one present um that would be conflicting and not very nice so that's the way we like to do it and um, with that said I'm going to start with my eldest and then we'll go down in order if that's okay so my eldest as I mentioned is 12 years old he's a boy and my children very much follow like boy and girl items and some unisex stuff that's just my kids everyone is different um but his biggest enjoyments at his age are like his mates um hanging out with his mates <laughs> food um stuff that he can't get readily available here like him and his mates are quite interested in stuff that's like UK, US based that sort of thing or like sweets from different countries and trying different things and, and this that and the other he's also really into like gaming he's on the swim team and that's kind of him in a nutshell so a lot of his things are kind of like treat based but that's just because I know that they will be enjoyed my main rule really with stockings is that I don't like to buy things that are going to be wasteful. I would I would like to fill them with things that are going to be really useful, needed, enjoyed, etc, etc, rather than like, you know, little things that end up in the bin. I started that way when I was younger and the kids were younger and I regretted it. So now I really focus on like value, even if that might be sh short term value, at least it's enjoyed and consumed in a good way. So first thing is really obscure. Um, and if you are a US watcher, you'll probably find it really funny. But I got him a Chick-fil-A sauce. Uh, you can get this from Amazon. And as I've mentioned, he's really curious about all things American. We've been to Orlando once. That's the only time we've ever been to the US. And um, he was quite young then and we worked with Disney World, which was the most amazing experience, but we've never been back since. Um, but obviously it's got to be on a bucket list one day. So I picked this up because I just thought he would lose his mind. He's a big mayo guy. Um, you know how some people are mayo, some people like ketchup he's a mayo guy so i think he's really gonna like this and he loves fried chicken so i think he will laugh his head off but also be like oh my god and i'm actually really excited to see that um 
Following that theme, you might have seen these in my Home Bargains haul recently, but I picked up two Fantas that you don't readily get here, um, which they were about 99p each, something like that, which I just thought was really good considering. One is grape and one is berry, and we don't get them as much here. And the way I can often tell when they are American products is that you guys do your calories and stuff a bit different looking to ours um so i got those and they were like really affordable but just like a fun gift he has a mini fridge in his bedroom which was like a birthday gift that he got like it was either this year or last year um so i know he will love putting these things in there because it's just you know like having your own space and organizing it and stuff the next thing i've got which is it follows on from them it's they're a lot healthier are these and i shared these over on my instagram um actually i picked these up from tesco so if you are a mom to a teen or preteen um you will be able to find them there and you'll probably laugh when you see this but radna fizz um you can I mean, it's like the only drink really because it's approved for high schools somebody told me that she works um within the section where like high school like approval for certain products is and that's why they use it they're no added sugar and they're also one of your five a day which is great um i've got the forest fruits one here it was only like two pound or something but again he'll love this he'll find it really funny because him and his mates are obsessed with it and in year seven he was he came home and he was like oh i've got to tell you about this drink it's so nice this and the other and like it's like a cult thing at high school i, I that's just kids for you isn't it so i've got him one of them and again he'll find it funny also because he's older he knows that these are all from me and his stocking is very sort of like snack heavy um but it's what he's going to enjoy he's at that age and it'll make him really happy um so next thing just to mix it up a bit i always try and get my kids a book of sorts he is my least enthusiastic reader that said he does have to read as part of school they have like a rule they've always got to have a book in their bag um and he has some from like his kind of high school syllabus as it were like they were recommended to us at the start of year eight um but i thought i would get him this one because he's getting to that age where he is pushing his independence and like wants to learn more and wants to do more and this i thought was great it's called life skills for teens by karen harris i found this on amazon and it basically congratulations you're a teenager the big question is now what he's going to be a teenager he'll be 13 in uh, june uh, the teenage years are exciting yet ever-changing period of your life new challenges and tasks seem to pop up at almost uh, almost daily not to mention all the transitions your body's going through um so this is like basically how to do tasks that you've seen like older people do or adults do and like you're probably wondering how you work it out so it'll be stuff like how to tell if the chicken in the fridge has gone bad how to get rid of dandruff um learning new experiences about basic skills like you know just cooking and cleaning and that kind of thing saving money so like there's a page here random page 72 managing anger and self-control uh 54 making a budget um what to do in the event of a nosebleed bee sting sprained ankle keeping yourself healthy personal grooming let's go back a bit folding clothes oh i think that's the tip that all teens need to <laughs> learn uh sewing a button circuit breakers like fire extinguisher i just think is actually a really cool book to have plus he's quite a factual person and he loves stuff like this so it's just the kind of thing i'm not expecting him to be like oh goody i can't wait to read it um but i think it would be something nice for him to like pick up and read and go through or think oh maybe that book will tell me how to do that um so i thought that would be useful um really random i think this is actually really cute because he's not been interested in stuff like this for a long time but him and one of his mates have just like gone through their old pokemon card collections from like when they were younger and they're having like a nostalgia moment and um they have like new ones at the moment that are scarlet and violet temporal forces so i got my pack of these they're about four pounds or so um but it's just a cute little extra to go in there and he's enjoying it and do you know what when your preteen or teen still shows signs of being like a kid i say fully encourage and embrace that while you can because there is so much protection and comfort around being young and 
not yet an adult or even like when you get to be a teenager there's so much more pressure so if they're still into certain things like they collect stuff they like stuff let them just enjoy it while they can that's what i say anyway um other items i got some mighty patches which are spot patches now bill's very fortunate at the moment he's still got great skin and I do have him on a skincare routine. I've had him on one for a while. I think it's really important that we teach boys this stuff as well as girls um, and save them that like discomfort of like breakouts and stuff as they get older. He uses very mild stuff that's like perfect for his skin and like his age. Um, but I thought these would be really useful. I know that in the next year he's gonna hit like that teen point and he's gonna do a lot of growing up and I just thought these would be really handy. He has a little skincare basket with like deodorant and like lotions and potions in and this will be a great addition in there i'm going to teach him how to use them and just say look if you have something that's rumbling like at night and you see it popping up pop one on go to sleep and they really really do help to ease like the resinous and the swelling and i just thought it would be a nice thing for him to have and it like pays to be prepared if you've followed me for a long time you'll know that i always add these things into my stockings just as like a novelty factor um i probably won't get one of these again for bill after this year once he's a teen um but it's just a facial sheet mask and i always encourage them to just like chill and enjoy themselves and they still like doing it like i, I think a bit of self-care for kids is so warranted and this is just a little like sheet mask that i got from home bargains and then i also got him a lush bath bomb the christmas capybara one i will like i'll either put it on screen or i'll link it down below because uh, i don't want to open them because they've all been sealed i got mark to pick these up from lush in manchester and then the final few things are just like more sweet treats that i know he'll enjoy so i've got a freeze-dried um original mix of like different sweets so there's skittles in there squashies refresher chews um just loads of things marshmallows random bits and bobs and all of the kids have got one of these they've also all got a terry's chocolate orange and i know that these are all treats but tis the season and they won't eat them all on one day uh, you can have my word on that um i got a haribo merry mix uh, which you can pick up from tesco you can get terry's chocolate orange from like any shop as you well know have a look out for discounts as well because sometimes they'll like have them on special offer tesco did recently for them for a pound i got some chocolate coins which i always get them and then i got a m m crispy because like the smaller one i always say like on christmas day there's no rules and they will always go oh can i open these now can i try one of these now and i'm like just bloody do it it's christmas do it so that's like a nice small one that they can like rip into on christmas day morning the only other thing that i may get him is either another packet of the pokemon cards just because i think it's cute or um i might get like a five pound costa voucher or a five pound greg's voucher to use when he's out and about with his mates because they're always going in and out and stuff and i just think it would be a useful gift for him to have um you know in the new year or in between christmas and new year where he, he like meets up with mates and stuff i think it just you know it values their independence so that's all of his so next up is daisy and she's eight so as i mentioned just before there are a few cross so again she's got a bag of these and i'm really hoping that they let me have one because they're really nice we've had a few before but not like a huge bag before um she also has a terry's chocolate orange she also has some chocolate coins the little m m guy and the haribo merry mix which i think is a good mix of treats and then one thing that i did forget to mention i always put a satsuma in there just for shits and giggles because it makes me laugh um I, I would do a lump of coal as well if i could find one now with her she's got really different things that are just reflective of her age i think that older preteens and teens are hard to buy for particularly boys because a lot of the stuff that they're into is very very specific like gaming or football and stuff and some things like are just harder to fit in stocking and um, but for her one thing she really wanted um is a water bottle now this is frustrating because my kids went through the phase as everybody's children did um of wanting an air up and we have air ups and we still use them but the novelty wore off 
after about six months or so um, because the rings run out after a while or, or like we find actually that they leak a little bit sometimes as well so she had like on her little list um, she wanted a really nice cool water bottle like one of yours mama that um, keeps your water cool because I have like sort of a Stanley dupe so I actually picked up the brand bottle bottle and these were on sale um, on Amazon at the moment they were like 18 pounds at the time and that is a more expensive um, stocking filler however um, I know it's one that she will value um, white I've got she's very into like she's leaving behind her baby stage you know when like girls are really into or at least mine was anyway pinks and and like lilacs and rainbow and this that and the other and like now she's gone a lot more neutral and like she's just her, her interests have completely changed this year um so i got this one what's really great about it is that it insulates everything keeps it hot or cold um you have a straw that attaches to the lid and then also a spare so you have two and it's I, I really liked it i thought it was really good quality so sturdy um this spout is really easy to use it's a flip up spout really really versatile i think it'd be really good for sport and stuff as well um and then what i also appreciated was the little handle because you can either hold it like this or clip it to a bag or something like that but i picked that up for her and i'm really excited about her receiving that because i think she's absolutely going to love it i'll probably take it out of this packaging now next up i got her a little um stitch notebook i just found this at home bargains recently if you saw my haul you'll have seen that but it's just right up her street it's something that i know will get used and it's very very sweet her best friend in particular is really into stitch and daisy by nature just is also a fan um and i just thought she'd really like that i also got her the face mask and i also got her a bath bomb which is the penguin and um, and again i'll leave everything linked down below if i can find it for you but um she will love that she especially really loves a pamper which is why i picked up these so this is swirly soap and i got this from boots and what was nice about it is that when oh, i can't open it she but when i was ordering her best friend some stuff because they had some like stitch items over on boots it was by to get the third three so i got this free and i was like oh, what great use of my my uh, budget and her friend got one as well along with some stitch perfume and then some other bits that i picked up for her um, from elsewhere but it looks like this and i think it kind of like just melts into the water but she's gonna love that and then i just got finally some little girly bits that i think she'll appreciate at the age she's at so slip back bun is in fashion and we do that a lot now we do a lot of just a high pony and a slip back bun i used to do um intricate plaits and pigtails and all this that and the other but year four we are too mature for that now um so this is what it looks like it's a jewel brush so you've got some like bristles and then some longer ones here um and it's got an end here which is good for like dividing the hair and like just you know putting it up in various styles so that's a lee stafford one that was from boots and then to go with that i got the tg tiggy bedhead um hair stick for cool people <laughs> which is an interesting name but it's basically like one of those wax it smells like lemony herbal it's like one of those wax sticks to sort of keep strays down now she like every girl i've ever known with curly hair hates her curls at the moment i had a friend um at high school called danielle who had the most beautiful curly strawberry blonde hair and she hated it and i loved her hair which is always the way you always want what you've you've not got don't you and um daisy gets frustrated sometimes when she does do a high pony that she has like hairs that stick up i mean we all do don't we really um so i thought that would be great i think she's really gonna love that and can imagine like her going mama will you do my hair on christmas day and she's really going to appreciate that little combo and then also really to go with that um are some stronger bubbles so i got a more festive set 
which like red glittery gold and then like a pink and a nudie beige color and then i just got some like brown ones that match her hair because these are thicker and i find that curly hair as well often needs like a good bubble and um, i just thought these were a bit more like in keeping with what she's into now which is really weird actually doing her presence this year has been a real leap compared to maybe what they were a year ago um, because she's just growing up and she's more interested in different things now. Another thing that I haven't got to show you because I thought I'd ordered it but I hadn't when I was going through everything is a Lottie Brooks book. Um, so I will leave a picture of it here and she's read the Christmas one which came out recently. I got that for her just sort of to enjoy in the run-up to Christmas but she's already devoured it and she's asked for more so I've got her number one for a stocking um Mark's mum has got number two as part of her present Mark's sister has got number three as part of her present and then I've got number four which is down here for snowman presents which I'm going to do as a bonus at the end of this video you'll have to wait till the end to understand what they are if you've uh, not seen my videos before so now finally we're going to do my little man so we're going to do Stan's a little stocking so as with before he has a terry chocolate orange he has a merry mix chocolate coins the m&m crispy man some air dried sweets which he especially at his age he's going to be so excited about because you know like when they're younger they they when they get into things that their older siblings are into they like i think it just feels like such a special thing for them doesn't it to be included in that way and then he's also got the facial sheet mask and the bath bomb and his is the magical santa so again like it's just something that they really enjoy in particular all three of them like to put these on and then just walk around the house like laughing at each other um so is it used in a very zen manner like they're at a spa day probably not um but it makes them laugh so that makes me laugh similarly to his sister he has the same bottle bottle water bottle um because again we've had complaints about you know the air ups and it is what it is so we're moving on but this is a bottle bottle again and he's got the black one because he, he he's stan's always been a more chill kid like not like he likes cool stuff do you know what i mean like he's very very mature for his age he, when you talk to him his sense of humor is wild he's so funny um but this again is black one nice like sleek i normally print off a little label and put that on there with their names on so they are missing stuff but i'm excited for these especially because i think as it gets warm again which it feels like forever and away away now um it would be so nice to send them in with some juice that i've put a few ice cubes in and then they can have ice cold drinks when it's nice and hot over the summer and stuff plus i think because of the longevity of these um they will really last them i can see them using it for years and they will actually do a good job bill has one really similar um i was going to buy him one but mark made a good point of like why are you buying a matching one when he's already got like two of a really similar style like where it insulates and i was like yeah you're right i should probably spend money on like stuff that he can enjoy in a different way because that would just be like I repeat do you know what i mean um but other bits for stan i've got him a dog man book um a couple of family members are getting him um others from this line he really really likes them um i think this has been made into a movie next year so if you've got a kid of a similar age it could be a good way to get them excited about that um it's written in a comic book style so really really easily digestible um but he just finds them really funny but it's also by the creator of captain underpants so if you've got a kid that sounds like stan i think that's a really good shout next thing because he's footy mad i've got him top trump's world football stars because obviously obviously he's gonna love that and i think it'd be a really nice one to enjoy with family on like christmas day can imagine him like playing it with my gramps while we're waiting for food to cook and stuff so that would be good i'm excited about that the last few things i <laughs> this is this is like it's such a tiny little thing but i know he'll appreciate it it is a bookmark and it's a holographic football one and the reason why we've got this is that he's actually a really big reader he loves his books and he is reading a book at the moment he's reading the christmas saurus um who's it by is it david williams or something like that i can't remember um but he's reading that at the moment and he has a piece of paper that like he cut out and on it he's written book 
Mark and it always makes us smile because um like Mark's called Mark and like it's just like book Mark instead of bookmark and it's so cute and it's just this little piece of paper so he's written on it so he knows that like if I go into his room and I'm tidying it up like I don't throw it away or something because it just looks like a scrap of paper otherwise but I thought I'm gonna get him his own proper bookmark because I just think he would love that Um I'm half tempted to get Daisy one as well because she reads constantly so maybe that would be another addition if you've got a book reader like a big bookworm then a little bookmark is a really cute addition to um stocking and then the next thing i've got is a putty for him to play with because at his age if it's disgusting he loves it uh, this is the zoru oosh i was gonna get the there's a certain it's like a guy's name and it's like memory like thinking putty that's it um but it costs like between like 10 and 12 quid this is going to be two quid and i often find with stuff like this it was maybe 2.99 actually like it's not it's never going to last forever it's going to get fluff on it and bits on it and they're probably going to stick it to things that they shouldn't but i i couldn't really justify spending like over 10 pounds on something that is really similar to this this is they have different versions you can stamp it tear it bounce it stretch it and he has tidal wave which is like a marina type thing like blue with blue glittering and stuff so i know who really liked that but it was really affordable from home bargains and then the last thing that i can show you but i have another item to mention is this so i picked him up a little key ring that has his name on and his shirt number for the team that he plays for he's injured at the moment bless him um but this is everything to him at the moment and i thought this would be really cute to hang on his new school bag that we've got him because he asked for a football one for christmas and um, he has a hype one which i'm kind of good about because they're so they're not cheap um but he can they can keep those as like spare travel bags or something but i thought i would get this to go on it because one of his friends has a matching or very similar bag and i'm trying to make sure that that like doesn't overlap um and then the final thing that we're getting in um which we did order but amazon like lost it in transit so we've had to order again and they've just not come yet are uh, some uh, match attacks cards you know little packs because he collects them it's his life he loves them so much and he gets so excited for when the match of the day magazine comes out every month because he gets to like get a new um magazine and it comes with free cards and stuff so i've got a couple of them for his stocking coming and a couple for snowman presents which i'm gonna get on to now so snowman presents um mr snowman has been around since before i was even born so that's a long time now because i'm knocking on a bit i'll be 37 in january and it was a tradition that started and i don't know if it was something that was encouraged and made on maybe blue peter or something like that because i have heard from people before that have seen my videos about it saying that their family did the exact same thing and i don't really know where that began um but it's always been something that i've remembered from being a very very small girl and it's a tradition that i've continued on with my children and basically after christmas dinner mr snowman and like he was a physical thing um covered in like cotton wool type fabric a big like felt face smile and everything with a top hat he used to come out and inside him he'd be stuffed with loads of small presents now mr snowman didn't survive over the years so i remade him based on a photo i found um a couple of years ago now and surprised my grandparents with him and it was the best thing ever so i own him now and he lives in my loft uh, at the moment anyway and it's just you come out and like it would be like secret santa so inside would just be little tiny presents wrapped with people's names on you didn't know who had bought you what and it was so exciting because it was funny i remember when i was a teenager my mom i think it was her that got them got me tampons one year and like you have a laugh it's a bit of a joke this that, and the other and um it was just it's a really really fond memory of everybody's and so we still do it to this day and i always get the kids some things from mr snowman as i do for the rest of my family and this is what i've got this year so for bill I have a bubbleology um, 
mixology kit and um, they sent me some of these and i actually put this one to one side because i thought you would love it and this is taro milk and brown sugar sugar milk and i just really can't wait to surprise him with this because he loves stuff like this so that's what i've got for him i've got him some more radna fizz because again it's meant to be funny and i think he'll find it hilarious um so we've got apple and tropical so his fridge in his bedroom is going to be very well stocked and they'll last him a while as well it's nice and then for his final gift bearing in mind that the price points i try and keep the budget the same for every child um is this Fortnite lego which is the der burger because he loves Fortnite. him and his mate play it all the time and he still enjoys lego it's probably one of the very few toys that he still plays with and um, so i've got him that and then for daisy I got her the Lottie Brooks number four, as I said. So this is what Lottie Brooks looks like. She really, really enjoys these. And um, they come quite well recommended by like teachers and stuff on Amazon. So I've got her that one. So by like the time, like by, by New Year, she'll have like four new books to read, which she will be ecstatic about. And then for her next present, I got her a Nido Dream Drop. So these are like sort of like fidget toys. I can't open it because they're secured, but it's a pink one and it's basically like squishy and moldable she just loves stuff like that and um, her and her friends are very similar and it's got glitter in and she will really enjoy that because she has a little collection of things like that and then we have um some colored pencils so this i got in what's it called black friday sale and they i think i only paid about 11 pounds and inside because Daisy and Stan are super crafty they've got one of these each it has all of these crayons and they are going to absolutely love these because they're always drawing especially at night when they're supposed to be asleep they come down and share lots of creations and then it actually comes with like a free coloring book inside and um, which is quite sweet but we've got uh, some bits that coincide with this as part of a main present so i'm really happy about that plus when we go out and about now and like i said before we could do like meals and stuff or we go and visit family um this is so portable so portable so that's what she's got and she's going to be really chuffed with them and then stan will be getting more match attacks cards as i mentioned he's got one of these as well because anything that she has he will want plus they're both dead creative so i've only got one one of them the other would be so disappointed and then the final thing that i got for him was this ultimate football heroes quiz book so he has some of these for a part of his like main presence from us because he loves them so if you've got a reader and like some a kid that loves football they have loads they look like this and it's all facts about his favorite players which he just loves he finds them so interesting because they're like heroes to him um, and this is a quiz book where you have to answer questions and rate your knowledge about football which i think he'll really like because he loves testing himself so that is everything that we picked up for them and um, across the board they've all had the same amount spent on them each with like their main presents and stuff and i'm really really excited because i think we've got a lot of things here that they can enjoy long term but also enjoy over the christmas holidays like because stuff like this goes with other things that we've bought and I'm just really excited. I'm not excited to wrap it all, but I'm really grateful to be in a position where at least I've got this stuff sorted. And I really, really hope that you found this useful and it gave you some inspo or ideas. And I also hope that you have an absolutely magical, fantastic, wonderful, bloody brilliant Christmas. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon.